The whole process of absorbing the soul ring did not last long, but the surging soul power in his body still made Cheng Xiao feel a little bit of difficulty, but it was not to the point that it was difficult for him to handle, and he completely absorbed the soul ring with a stray push. Cheng Xiao quickly made a preliminary estimate of his body. His limit should not exceed 600 years. If it were higher, something might happen. It would be great if this soul binding vine was 580 years old, just touching the limit. Chang Xiao only felt a little regretful in his heart, and quickly adjusted his mentality. It can't be calculated like this. Everything can't be perfect. It is absorbed beyond the years. If it is higher, the risk will be higher. If something goes wrong, it will be too late to regret. A higher age. Chang Xiao is not crazy enough to gamble with his life. What he needs is to reach as many years as possible within a safe range so that he can have a clear understanding of himself. What's more, what's the point of the first two soul rings increasing by several decades in a hundred years? For soul rings that are less than 10,000 years old, there is only a few hundred years difference, but there is not much difference in the power of soul skills. There is no need to gamble your life in order to gain such a small advantage. It's not like he doesn't have other ways to improve his strength. Chang Xiao slowly opened his eyes, and after sensing his soul skill, there was a subtle arc at the corner of his mouth. How's it going? How's it going? Xiao Wu came closer, eyes full of curiosity. Tang San didn't know why, but he felt a trace of regret in his heart. What a coincidence, it's a control skill similar to Xiao San's. Chang Xiao smiled. I call it soul binding touch, and all the shadows I look at will be controlled by me. When I use my soul skills, the shadows will turn into four tentacles, bind the enemy. Then who has stronger soul skills between you and Xiao San? Xiao Wu was a little curious. You have to try this to know. Chang Xiao shook his head. Xiao San, do you want to give it a try? Haha, <laughs> no need. I'm already at level 22, you're no match for me. Tang San smiled, although his expression was humble, there was a hint of arrogance in his words. With the master's teachings and the fact that his soul power was higher than his opponents, Tang San didn't think he would lose to Chang Xiao. Just try the effect of the first soul skill without using the second soul skill. Let's see whose control skill is faster and easier to control the opponent. Yes, yes, let's give it a try. I also want to see Xiao Cheng's soul skills. Xiao Wu looked at Tang San expectantly. Tang San seemed unable to bear such a look, he hesitated for a moment, then nodded in agreement. Xiao Wu clapped her hands happily and jumped like a little rabbit to the middle of the two of them. Then I will be the referee. I will shout one, two, three, and you two will take action at the same time. Tang San and Cheng Xiao stepped away at the same time, their expressions gradually becoming serious, releasing their martial spirits. The blue-silver grass began to grow wildly around Tang San, and Cheng Xiao's eyes turned into black holes like black holes. One, two, three, start. The first soul skill, entanglement. The first soul skill soul binding touch. The two of them activated their first soul skills at the same time, but in addition to this, they also tacitly retreated toward the rear. Tang San even used Ghost Shadow, turning his body into a series of afterimages, moving away from the place. They both knew that the other party was using control skills, so how could the two of them stand there without any precautions? None of them are fools. The vines transformed by the blue silver grass almost instantly appeared within one meter of Chang Xiao's body and shot towards Chang Xiao. Chang Xiao retreated, but the blue silver grass pursued him at an extremely fast speed. Wrapping around Chang Xiao made Chang Xiao feel quite embarrassed to deal with it. Seeing this scene, the corners of Tang San's mouth raised slightly. It seemed that the direction his teacher had chosen for him was correct. Blue silver grass was indeed suitable for taking the control route. At this moment, he was extremely glad that he had accepted Yu Xiaoging as his teacher. However, the next moment, Tang San's smile froze on his face. He suddenly looked towards his feet, only to see that his shadow turned into tentacles, climbing up his legs and directly restraining him. He stopped, making him ghostly and unable to perform, and he stumbled to the ground. When the shadow did not stop, and continued to climb upwards, restraining Tang San's arms, leaving only his forearms free to move. Xiao San, you lose. Chang Xiao hid behind the tree, the blue silver grass was blocked by the tree, lost Tang San's control, and instinctively wrapped around the tree pole. In his desperation, Tang San instinctively bent his wrist slightly and prepared to use the hidden weapon without thinking. Xiao San, it's just a discussion, there's no need to use your iron fist, right? Chang Xiao said with a smile, but secretly summoned the soul power in his hand, just in case this kid got a brain attack. Chang Xiao didn't have any murderous intentions. He knew that Tang San had a titled Du Luo Daddy who was watching from somewhere. Killing Tang San was purely an act of seeking death. 
he was not that stupid. Tang San was startled. Yes, it was just a competition. Could it be possible that Chang Xiao could be killed with a hidden weapon just because of one failure? Even if he wanted to kill, he couldn't kill him at this time. Xiao Wu was still watching. If he really killed him, Xiao Wu would definitely not forgive himself. The struggling movements gradually weakened, and the tight wrists relaxed. Tang San's eyes dimmed and he smiled bitterly, I lost. Chang Xiao removed the soul-binding touch and let go of Tang San. Tang San stood up and dusted himself off, but frowned tightly. Why is Xiao Cheng's soul skill so much faster than Xiao San? Xiao Wu still favored Tang San in her heart. Seeing that Tang San was worried about it, she asked out loud. That's natural. Tang San's soul skills are fundamentally different from mine. Cheng Xiao explained. Xiao San's soul skills and my soul skills are activated at about the same speed, but there is a key problem. Xiao San's martial spirit is blue silver grass. If it activates soul skills, it must have roots, so it needs to take root in the ground first, and if I prepare in advance, I can take this opportunity to retreat, while the blue silver grass can only continue to grow behind and chase me. But my martial spirit is different. The shadow follows the object. No matter where Tang San escapes, the shadow will follow. The starting point of the shadow is moving. It only needs to climb up your feet and entangle you. After it's on your legs, the shadow is completely fixed on the ground, completely blocking your movement. To put it bluntly, the entanglement of plants must have roots, and the roots of plants cannot move. The root of the shadow is in the human body, so escaping is useless. It is not just talk about following the shadow. Then no one can escape this skill. Xiao Wu's eyes widened. Chang Xiao smiled and did not answer. Of course he could avoid it by hiding, but how could he directly expose his weakness to others? Let's go, the journey is over, it's time to go back. Chang Xiao lightly tapped Xiao Wu's forehead and took the lead to walk out of the soul hunting forest. HMPH. Xiao Wu covered her forehead, wrinkled her nose at Chang Xiao's back, and then chased after Chang Xiao. Xiao Cheng, wait for me. This soul skill of yours is quite interesting. How about we compete and see? Don't want. Why? The two of them were playing happily, completely forgetting that there was someone behind them who hadn't followed. Tang San looked at the backs of the two of them, but now the jealousy in his heart was gone. He frowned, his mind filled with Chang Xiao's words just now. For the first time in history, Tang San began to doubt whether his blue silver grass's control path was correct. Chang Xiao's few words destroyed Tang San's confidence, so much so that he felt that in terms of control, blue silver grass simply couldn't match Shadow's advantage. Xiao San, go and get the fourth book from the left in the second row of the bookshelf on the left. Your task these days is to read this book. This book records my research on the weapon soul. It should be useful to you. Dot huh? Mistress, mistress. Yu Xiaoging originally planned to give Tang San homework, but saw that Tang San didn't respond for a long time. He looked up and found that Tang San was unconscious. Ha! Huh? Teacher, what did you just say? Tang San was startled and came back to his senses. What's wrong with you these days? Why are you so distracted? Yu Xiaoging frowned. Tang San opened his mouth wanting to say something, but in the end he could only smile bitterly. Did you follow that man named Chang Xiao to hunt soul beasts a few days ago? Could it be that you were injured? Yu Xiaoging recalled it and asked. No there are no injuries. What Chang Xiao hunted was the soul binding vine. It was not difficult, but... Tang San was in a low mood. Teacher, I now have some doubts about whether it is correct to take the root of a control type soul master. Yu Xiaoging's expression became solemn. His disciples began to doubt the soul master route he had chosen. This was not a good sign. It seemed that what happened in the past few days was not small, otherwise it would not have caused Tang San to fall into self-doubt. He still understood this disciple's character. What's going on? Let's talk about it in detail. A few days ago, Xiao Wu and I helped Chang Xiao hunt down a 500-year-old soul-binding vine, and then... Wait, you said 500 years? Did you read that correctly? Yu Xiaoging interrupted. It can't be wrong. Teacher has been teaching me for so long. Don't you still know it? I remember the plant system of the soul binding vine very firmly, and there will be no mistake. Yu Xiaoging stood up with a swish, a flash of excitement burst out in his eyes, 500 years, the first soul ring in 500 years. In other words, the strength of the physical body can indeed affect the upper limit of the soul ring. No wonder that kid works out so hard every day. He wanted to publish a paper as soon as possible to give the soul master world a small shock. No, that kid can only be considered an isolated case at best. There must be a second case to be convincing enough, and this second case must be under controlled conditions in order to convince everyone. And this second case. Yu Xiaoging's eyes fell on Tang San, and his breathing was a little rapid. 
there was no one more suitable than him as a disciple. Isn't this a good thing? He proved that super year absorption is possible. Are you discouraged just because of this? Yu Xiaogin smiled and shook his head and comforted. Don't forget what I taught you before. Although the soul ring age is important, it is far less important than the soul master route. As long as you follow the right direction, the disadvantage of the soul ring age can be made up for. Moreover, he helped us verify the feasibility of super year absorption. We can try it with confidence in the future. You don't have to worry. I will arrange all the training plans for you so that you can use these in the subsequent soul rings. Make up the difference. Tang San shook his head and forced a smile. Thank you, teacher. But it's not because of this, but because I lost to him. Then, Tang San told Yu Xiaoging everything about the discussion that day. After listening to Tang San's narration, Yu Xiaoging fell into silence. He did not expect that the innate first level mutated martial spirit could perform so well. This was really beyond his expectation. But that can only go so far. Innate level 1 is innate level 1. No matter how amazing the performance of the first soul skill is, it cannot cover up the fact that it is a waste. After a long silence, Yu Xiao just spoke again. Xiao San, the teacher doesn't blame you for this failure. But what you absolutely shouldn't do is be so depressed these days. Do you think of me as your teacher? When Tang San heard this, he was immediately shocked. What he said was serious. He immediately knelt down in front of Yu Xiaoging. Teacher, what are you talking about? How could Xiao San not treat you as a teacher? One day, I will become my teacher. I will be my father for life. Now that Xiao San has accepted you as my teacher, I will never change that for the rest of my life. Oh, get up. Yu Xiaoging sighed softly and touched Tang San's head. Xiao San, remember, I am your teacher. No matter you have any questions about cultivation in the future, you should contact him immediately. I communicate with you, and as a teacher, I will point out your shortcomings and help you improve your future cultivation. Yes, Xiao San has remembered it. Xiao San knows his mistake. Tang San nodded heavily. Xiao San, the failure in this fight is not your fault. You still have little actual combat experience, so you suffered a big loss. In the future, when you have more experience, you will naturally have ways to deal with it. For example, this Cheng Xiao, do you think his soul skills are really good? Is it perfect? Tang San hesitated for a while. Although he didn't find a way to crack it, he still intuitively believed that Cheng Xiao's first soul skill was not unsolvable. I can analyze the three shortcomings of his soul skill in just an instant. Yu Xiaoging held out three fingers. First, although the shadow follows people, its shadow ability must be restricted by the size and depth of the shadow. If it rises into the air, will the shadow shrink and become lighter? At that time, the shadow's binding power will inevitably greatly reduce. Second, the shadow must be restricted by his soul power. Judging from your description just now, the height of his shadow tentacles is only at your waist. It will not be able to completely tie you up until you fall. This is doesn't it mean that there is a limit to his height? As long as you react immediately and jump, you may be able to escape the shackles of this tentacle. There is a more important point, and it is also the third point. Since the shadow has materialized, it cannot be regarded as a shadow anymore, but should be regarded as a rope. If it is a rope, it must have an upper limit. If your soul power and strength it's powerful enough to shatter the shadow's tentacles directly. No matter what Yu Xiaoging's character is, he has studied theoretical knowledge for so many years, and he still has a clear vision. He actually analyzed the shortcomings of Cheng Xiao's soul skills and even how to solve them. If Cheng Xiao were here, maybe everyone would applaud Yu Xiaoging. However, the premise of these analyzes is that his martial soul is only the current, castrated version. When he truly releases the Shadow King, the power of all his soul skills will make a qualitative leap. If we really use the current, castrated version, to formulate targeted tactics, it will be a bit desperate, and Cheng Xiao will probably faint from laughter. However, Tang San didn't know all this. After listening to the teacher's instructions, he suddenly felt enlightened, and all the worries that had troubled him before disappeared. Teacher, thank you for your advice, I understand, Tang San said excitedly. Sure enough, the teacher was correct. From now on, he could no longer easily doubt the route chosen by the teacher. How could the teacher give him the wrong route after being immersed in theory for so many years? Also, don't pay too much attention to that Chang Xiao. His innate soul power is only at the first level. I see him training to the death every day. This is overdrawing his potential. Yu Xiaoging's mind showed that he was going to fight every day. The figure who was exhausted from his exercise said quite decisively. I dare to say that he will reach level 19 at most in his life. Squeezing himself every day without supplementing with a large amount of rare soul beast meat and medicinal materials, once his potential is squandered, he will never be able to make a breakthrough again. Do you want to regard a lifelong soul master as your opponent? Don't put your mind on him. You are a twin martial soul. 
if nothing happens, you will definitely become a titled Duluo in the future. Your opponent should be the young man in this continent. The geniuses are those titled Duluo who have already become famous. Tang San nodded heavily. Yes. How could he value so much a guy who could only be a soul master for the rest of his life? That guy is not worthy of being his opponent at all. The gap between them will become wider and wider. At that time, Xiao Wu will only rely more and more on her brother instead of Chang Xiao. For a moment, Tang San was in a good mood, and the depression that Chang Xiao had brought to him was gone. I understand, teacher. Time flies, and another two years pass by in a blink of an eye. Chang Xiao broke through to the 17th level. Because the first soul ring was a skip level absorption, after absorbing the soul ring, his soul power directly reached the 12th level. In the past two years, he has raised a total of five levels. At this time, Tang San and Xiao Wu were already at level 27, and they had only improved by five levels. It seems that the gap has not widened, but Cheng Xiao knows very well that the training difficulty of a great soul master is much higher than that of the soul master stage. Tang San and the two rose to almost seven levels in the soul master stage in two years. This is a first mover advantage. Uniformly accelerating movement will inevitably lag behind uniform speed movement that maintains a high speed. It is impossible for underachievers to surpass the top academics who have always been number one after studying for two years. Conventional methods cannot erase the first mover advantage, so you must think of some strange tricks. It seems that we must go to the ice and fire eyes first. The opportunity there cannot be given to Tang San. Chang Xiao planned to put the fairy grass on the agenda. After all, this was his best chance to overtake in a corner. It's just that now that the ice and fire eyes are occupied by Poison Duluo, he is weak and not strong enough to negotiate terms with others. After pondering for more than half a month, Chang Xiao still didn't have much clue, and the summer vacation for fifth grade had arrived. Shower, you are familiar with these things in the store over the years. This summer vacation, come with me to visit the purchasing channels. Chang Xiao's uncle, Cheng Yu, said. The Cheng family provides whale oil to the nobles. Whale oil is smokeless and fragrant. It has always been sought after by all nobles. Even the royal family regards whale oil as an urgent need. The Cheng family has always had a stable market and has no worries about being unable to sell. Therefore, the Cheng family is not considered a noble family, but it is still considered a wealthy family in Notting City. Cheng's father used to take care of Cheng Xiao, but after his father passed away a few years ago, his uncle took over the family business and took Cheng Xiao with him. Okay, uncle. Cheng Xiao nodded. His innate soul power was obvious to all. Although he was now a soul master, his family did not expect him to be successful in this path. They planned to let Cheng Xiao take over the family business when he became an adult. After his father passed away, his mother had always had expectations for him. In order to live up to her mother's expectations, Cheng Xiao chose to spend the summer vacation helping the family with the business. Titled Du Luo and the road to becoming a god are things that will happen in the future. People should focus on their feet. No one can counterattack by dreaming every day. You have to remember the route along the way. You will be needed to run in the future. Also, you have to pay attention. Along the way, Uncle Cheng Yu taught Cheng Xiao almost everything he had to say. After 10 days of trekking, the purchasing team finally arrived at a small seaside town, Whale Hunting City. As soon as we entered the small town, the bustling scene hit us, and the noisy sounds of trading and hawking filled our ears, showing the prosperity of the city. Whale Hunting City is famous for its whale oil. Almost half of all the whale oil in the entire continent comes from here. Whale oil is produced from June to August every year. During this time of year, almost all whale oil merchants from the mainland come here. Buying whale oil here is not a bustling experience. Let's go, we don't buy in the city. We have a dedicated Orion partner, so there is no need to buy second-hand goods here. After arranging a hotel for the team, Cheng Yu took Cheng Xiao away from the team members. The route is not the most important thing. Yes, this cooperative hunter is the basis for our family's survival, and we must not let others follow us. After walking for nearly 20 miles and climbing over a mountain, it was almost dark before the two of them arrived at a village. Bang bang. Cheng Yu came to a house and knocked on the door. Who? Lao Lu, I am Cheng Yu. Ha ha ha, I knew it was you. I figured it would be just a few days. If I don't come, I'm afraid you won't be able to make the first dish. With a creak, the door opened. The person who opened the door was a tan man. After seeing Cheng Yu, he immediately gave Cheng Yu a big hug, and then they started talking. This is this. After greeting Cheng Yu, Lao Lu looked at the young man behind Cheng Yu with doubts on his face. This is my eldest brother's son. He will take over the family business when he reaches adulthood. I will take him here for a trip today. Cheng Yu introduced the two of them to each other. 
L. V. Han. The hunter who cooperates with our family. We have I bought all the whale oil from him. His name is Uncle Lu. Uncle Lu. Hey, okay, this guy is good. With his body and bones, it looks like he will be a tough guy when he grows up. Ha ha ha. Lu Han welcomed the two of them into the house. Daughter-in-law, make two plates of food and drinks. Second Cheng is here. Stay with us today and I'll have a good drink with him. At the wine table, Chang Xiao gradually understood the status of this village. This village is called Moon Village, and there is Moon Bay nearby. This village has mastered the technology of luring and hunting magic whales a long time ago, and has always cooperated in a village manner, which is extremely cohesive. It's not so much a village as a loose sect formed around this secret technique. This village holds a whale hunting conference from June to August every year, and a grand bonfire banquet is held in the evening. The hunted magic whales are boiled into whale oil, which is distributed to the villagers and hunters according to the village's internal ranking and contribution system. Then Orion sells it at a high price. Hunters with a good reputation will have long-term buyers with exclusivity. For some with a poor reputation, some people will try to cooperate at first, but over time they will be abandoned by the buyers, and they can only go to the whale hunting city to sell and deceive some. People who don't know how to do it. No wonder my uncle said he couldn't bring anyone here. It turns out he was afraid of being pried away to cooperate. Chang Xiao muttered as he watched the two of them exchange cups. It wasn't until late at night that the two of them got drunk and ended the meal. Three days later, the whale hunting meeting began. Chang Xiao saw this spectacular sight for the first time. Dozens of large ships went out to sea together. The sailors shouted and set sail, tearing through the waves and sailing into the sea. Chang Xiao and Chang Yu boarded a ship with Lu Han to personally experience the intensity and passion of the conference. Lao Lu, can this time have the same volume as last year? How can we be sure? Our secret technique is only to lure and hunt, and we can't predict. It's not about how many magic whales can come to the sea this year. After ten days of sailing, the fleet finally reached a piece of sea. Early that morning, Chang Xiao was awakened by a whistle. He rubbed his sleepy eyes and came to the deck. The scene in front of him was shocking. Got to him. I saw all the soul masters on the fleet standing on the deck, releasing their martial souls in unison. All of them were sea soul beast martial souls. These sea soul masters were at least soul masters, and the strongest ones had reached soul emperor level. Chang Xiao saw Lao Lu, and to his surprise, this dark man with a simple and honest face turned out to be a soul master. It's true that people can't be judged by their appearance. Chang Xiao clicked his tongue. They were mumbling words, as if they were emitting some kind of melody, and the melody resonated. Soon, they attracted a group of demon whales. The group of demon whales seemed to be possessed, swimming around the fleet, and spraying out a stream from time to time. The water column soaring into the sky reflects the colorful light under the sunlight. The fleet began its return journey, luring the demonic whales to follow the fleet until they returned to Moon Bay. Only then did the sea spirit masters show their fangs, drive the whales into Moon Bay, and then start killing mercilessly. The villagers used the secret skills they had mastered to kill. These gray-eyed demon whales had no resistance at all. This was simply a massacre, one-sided massacre. Countless soul rings rise, most of them are purple soul rings, and a few black soul rings will appear here and there. The water of Moon Bay is as red as the bride's hijab, extremely colorful. The smell of blood rushed to the sky. Even if the seawater continued to wash away, it was difficult to wash away the smell of blood on the cliffs of Moon Bay. Seeing this scene, even Chang Xiao's hard-hearted heart couldn't help but feel emotional. Don't think too much. These gray-eyed demon whales are the best at giving birth. They can give birth to a large group every year. Chang Yu patted his nephew on the shoulder and consoled him. Chang Xiao shook his head and said with a smile. Uncle, I look down on me too much. Although I can't bear it, if they hadn't mastered the secret technique, they would have become the rations of the gray-eyed demon whale. The weak will eat the strong, and in the soul master world it's just an iron rule, I'm not that fragile. Ha ha ha, that's good. Yes, the weak eat the strong. Chang Xiao once again had a new understanding of the world. He thought of Xiao Wu. She was also a spirit beast. In just a moment, his heart became as hard as iron again. The night at the seaside is slightly different. The sky is dotted with stars and the moon is like a crooked hook, but tonight it seems to have a little blood color. There were bonfires lit in Moon Bay, and the villagers danced their village's unique dance around the bonfires. The hot and beautiful young lady pulled Chang Xiao into the crowd. Chang Xiao was a little embarrassed at first, but soon she was infected by the joyful atmosphere. She held hands with the young ladies and started dancing awkwardly. What makes Chang Xiao a little troubled is that these young ladies always like to touch him all over his body, and their whole body is covered. How could Chang Xiao be a coward? 
It's rude to come back but not reciprocate. Amidst the laughter, Chang Xiao tasted the rouge of her sisters. But Chang Xiao was quite melancholy. Seeing the sisters leaving with satisfaction, she couldn't figure out who suffered the loss. Seeing this, Lu Han whispered a few words into Cheng Yu's ear. Ah, uh, what did you say? The banquet was so noisy that Cheng Yu couldn't hear clearly, so he raised his glass and asked loudly. Let me tell you, your nephew is quite popular. Maybe your share will increase this year. Ha ha ha, life is not easy, life is not easy. Cheng Yu laughed heartily, clinking glasses and drinking down the wine. Cheng Xiao sighed. After getting tired of playing, Cheng Xiao withdrew and wandered around casually. When he saw someone cutting up the body of the demon whale, he started to take a look. The butchers are very skilled with the knife. Every knife is like an art, so exquisite that it is jaw-dropping. If it is too deep, it is too much, and if it is shallow, it is too little. Not to mention, it's quite stress-relieving, not much worse than trimming a donkey hoofs. The magic whale meat is continuously fed into the cauldron on the bonfire to boil the whale oil, exuding a fascinating fragrance, which adds a bit of beauty to the bonfire party. Chang Xiao was mesmerized by the sight of the demon whale corpses one after another without feeling bored at all. I don't know how long it took, but suddenly, Chang Xiao saw the butcher cutting open the head of the demon whale. This was not surprising. They seemed to do this for every corpse. However, this time the butcher's movements made Chang Xiao's pupils shrink. The butcher put his hand into the demon whale's head, took out a golden crystal, and threw it directly into the pile of debris. Whale glue. It's actually whale glue. Wait, just throw it away like that. Cheng Xiao was stunned. That thing. The butcher glanced at the golden crystal thrown out. That thing is a lump that grows on the head of the magic whale. It is of no use and cannot be used in the pot. When Cheng Xiao heard this, his breathing couldn't help but stagnate. A lump. Of no use? That's whale glue. Whale glue that is enough to increase the soul master's soul ring absorption life by one level. Just throw it away. But Cheng Xiao soon realized that whale glue was an item mentioned 10,000 years later in the original work. In this era, almost everyone rigidly believes that the absorption of soul rings has a maximum number of years. Only a few people believe that the number of years of absorption is related to the quality of the martial soul, the strength of the body and the power of the soul. However, this view is not mainstream and is not accepted, recognized by the public. In this cognitive environment, no one thinks that there are items that can increase the absorption period of a soul ring. Could it be that the efficacy of whale glue was discovered in the next 10,000 years? Or was it studied on the Sun Moon continent and only became known to the people of Duluo continent after the collision of the Earth's crust? Thinking of this, Chang Xiao couldn't restrain his excitement. This is whale glue. After 10,000 years, there will be no soul master who does not want this thing. Taking two deep breaths and pretending to be calm, Chang Xiao pointed to the golden whale glue and said, Can you give it to me? I'm quite curious about this thing. I can buy it. Hey, just pay me. If you want it, just take it. This thing is just garbage. How can I charge you for it? The butcher waved his hand and didn't care. The people present today are all buyers who have good relations with the village. If people know that he sold garbage to them, it will affect his reputation. He will not do such a thing. He still has a bright future. There is no need to join in the trouble with those guys hanging out in whale hunting city. He held the golden whale gum in his hand and gently stroked it with his fingers. The surface was quite smooth. When he pressed the button hard, it turned out to be as hard as a stone. Returning to Lu Han and his uncle, Chang Xiao still felt that it was a bit unreal. He actually got the whale glue that would make the soul master salivate 10,000 years later without spending a penny. A. Hey, why are you holding this thing? Lu Han looked disgusted when he saw the whale glue in Chang Xiao's hand. Huh? What is this? Chang Yu was drunk and his eyes were hazy, and he couldn't speak clearly. This thing grew out of the brains of some sick magic whales. It has a great impact on the quality of the whale oil. Before entering the cauldron, it must be removed, otherwise this thing will destroy the entire cauldron of whale oil, even the cauldron. The furnace must be scrapped, otherwise this batch of whale oil will be thrown away," Lu Han said while burping from wine. Hearing this, Chang Xiao was moved in his heart and asked, Are these a lot of things? It's not too much. I can only produce one or two in a batch. Sometimes there is not even one in a batch. But you are not afraid of ten thousand, just in case. When boiling whale oil, you are afraid of accidentally getting mixed into this thing. The whale oil that comes out the oil would stink and smoke, and it wouldn't be sold at all. Chang Xiao calculated the round trip time with his fingers, which meant that there would be at most three batches a year. Doesn't that mean that six pieces of whale gum can be produced at most in a year? Damn it. This is the time to get rich. Hiss. It's a bit incredible. But then I thought about it. 
Moon Bay controls half of the whale oil in the entire Duluo continent. It is not unusual to produce up to six pieces. After all, when you are unlucky, you can't produce one piece for several years in a row. Oh, no, for the villagers, it should be considered lucky that they did not burn out the whale oil. Strange, as this is arsenic in my honey? What about the ones that were released before? Cheng Xiao wanted to collect more. Either it will be thrown back into the sea with the remains of the magic whale, or it will be thrown to the children in the village to play with, who knows? Lu Han didn't care. Cheng Xiao's mouth twitched. What a waste. Uncle Lu, I like this thing. It's golden and quite beautiful. Cheng Xiao played with whale glue and said with a smile. You don't know, I like collecting strange rocks the most. This thing is just like a stone. It's hard, I want to keep it and play with it. How about this, you help me keep an eye on it every year. I want to collect it and treasure it. Of course, I won't let you work in vain, uncle, don't you think so? Chang Xiao poked Chang Yu with his elbow. Chang Yu took care of his family's business in an orderly manner, and his emotional intelligence was naturally high. He noticed something was wrong as early as the beginning. Does his nephew like to collect strange rocks? Damn it, why didn't he know? It sounded like that, and those who didn't know it would have thought he was a young man with special hobbies. My nephew even asked me to cooperate, this thing must be extraordinary. Cheng Yu understood immediately and immediately put his arms around Lu Han's neck. Old Lu, this is the future talker of our Cheng family, so you should have some snacks. Don't you like drinking? Every year I come here and bring you a pot of palace yuya, hiccup, delicious. Tomorrow we two brothers are going to whale hunting city. I heard that a good batch of goods has arrived. Hee <laughs> hee, we have been going crazy at sea for more than 20 days. Hearing Cheng Yu's words, Lu Han's eyes immediately lit up and he agreed. Don't worry, I will go and ask early tomorrow morning to see if this year's batch has been released yet. The first batch of whale oil was released, and the buyers returned with full loads. Barrels of whale oil were shipped from Whale Hunting City. However, this was only the first batch, and there were two more batches to follow. Cheng Yu led the first team to prepare to leave, while Cheng Xiao was waiting here to prevent others from intercepting the second team. Although there is a contract, there is no guarantee that the money will not move people's hearts. Tell me, what is that thing? Before leaving, Cheng Yu put his arms around his nephew's neck, took him aside, and asked quietly. That thing is called whale glue, and it's used by soul masters for training. Cheng Xiao didn't say much, just mentioned it briefly. That's it. Cheng Yu raised his eyebrows. Cheng Xiao was helpless. Otherwise, what else can we do? It's not that I don't want to reveal it to my uncle, it's just that secrets always spread from the first person's mouth. As long as the second person knows the secret, it will be a matter of time before it spreads. The secret of whale glue can be said to be subversive to the soul master. If this news leaks out, whale glue will definitely become a hot commodity. The Wuhun Palace, the upper three sects, the lower four sects, the two great empires and other forces will definitely monopolize the whale gum channels, and their family is not yet able to hold on to this cornucopia. If the uncle is obsessed with things, he might even bring disaster to the family. Therefore, after weighing it, Cheng Xiao decided to keep the secret of whale glue a secret. Wait until he becomes a titled Duluo and has the ability to resist. Okay. Cheng Yu was bored. Cheng Xiao watched his uncle gradually disappear from sight. He touched the two pieces of whale glue on his hand. After that day, Lu Han asked about it and got him two more pieces, one of which was from the village. A child collected it. It has lost its golden luster and is darker in color. It has a tendency to turn black. It is not known whether it is approaching the 10,000-year-old whale gum. If you're lucky, you might be able to get a few pieces during the next two trips to sea. If you are unlucky, it doesn't matter, three yuan is enough. Originally, according to his estimate, the endurance range of his first soul ring was probably more than a hundred years. By analogy, his second soul ring should be in his early 900 years. Considering that Tai Chi is still constantly replenishing the innate ability of his body. Unfortunately, take risks, a thousand years is the limit. He has been hesitating whether the second soul ring should absorb the thousand-year soul ring. After all, the age of the soul beast cannot be calculated accurately. It would be too dangerous to absorb the thousand-year soul ring. His limit has just reached a thousand years, and it is difficult to find soul beasts stuck in the early millennium. If there is a slight discrepancy, it may put his life in danger. And these three pieces of whale glue came just in time. Whale glue is a special substance produced in the brains of soul beast whales. After taking it, it can enhance the endurance of muscles, bones and meridians, and improve the physique of soul masters. A piece of thousand-year-old whale glue is enough to increase the upper limit of soul rings that a soul master can bear by 500 years. The three pieces are all thousand-year-old whale glue. Although they cannot be stacked rigidly, and there will definitely be a certain loss of efficacy after repeated use, 
this piece has been transformed into black. Even if it is greatly reduced, it can be improved by about 1,500 years. In this way once it comes, my choice range will be very large, ranging from 2,000 to 2,500 years, without any danger. Chang Xiao recalled the overview of whale gum deep in his memory. Chang Xiao came to the blacksmith shop and found the blacksmith to build a quenching boiler. This boiler was enough for forging, and presumably it should be enough to soften whale glue. A few days later, a boiler was erected in a scrawled stone house next to Moon Bay. Chang Xiao looked at the flames igniting in the boiler, and a smile appeared on his red cheeks. He placed three pieces of whale glue on the prepared steel fork, and then put it into the boiler for quenching. He always paid attention to the changes in the whale glue. Every time, he would poke the whale glue with a steel rod to see if it softened. Time slipped away quietly, and with the scorching fire, a strange fragrance came out from the boiler. The fragrance was condensed and lingering, making Chang Xiao couldn't help but swallow his saliva. That's it. The temperature in the boiler was very high, and it didn't take long for the whale glue to be softened by the fire. Chang Xiao took it out immediately. Hiss. I couldn't wait to tear off the whale glue, but I accidentally got a blister, which made Chang Xiao gasp in pain. Grass. Chang Xiao cursed secretly, blew and fanned, and when the whale glue was cool enough to touch with his hands, he tore off small pieces bit by bit and put them in his mouth. The fishy smell of whale gum was so strong that Chang Xiao almost vomited as soon as he took it into his mouth. But thinking of the preciousness of this thing, Chang Xiao endured nausea and swallowed it. The heat flowed into his abdomen, and a hot and comforting feeling warmed from his stomach to his heart, and a faint aroma came out. Worried about the hardening of the whale gum, Chang Xiao tore the remaining whale gum into small pieces like falling leaves in the strong wind, quickly put them into his mouth, and quickly swallowed all three pieces of whale gum. As the three pieces of whale gum were digested, it seemed as if a hot stream of heat flowed from the abdomen to the limbs. Chang Xiao began to become a little hot, his energy and blood surged, and his face turned red like a cooked lobster. He scratched his neck and body uneasily, feeling that there were countless ants crawling all over his body. Is that so? The corners of Chang Xiao's mouth couldn't help but twitch. He knew that whale gum was a great tonic for yang and strength, but he didn't expect it to be so tonic. Fortunately, I only had three pieces of thousand years whale gum instead of the ten thousand years gluten that Huo Yuhao took, so I wouldn't be as confused as Huo Yuhao and couldn't wait to vent on women. He can still maintain a clear mind now, but the hot feeling is really hard to suppress. Billowing heat surged through the body, and Chang Xiao felt that the temperature of his body continued to rise. His whole body was wet with sweat, and he felt as if he had been fished out of water. This can't go on like this. Seeing that there was no relief, Chang Xiao turned around and rushed out of the house, ran towards the seaside not far away, and plunged into the sea. The seawater temporarily relieved the discomfort caused by the high temperature, but it still failed to change the fundamental problem. At this moment, Chang Xiao's body was like a kettle without a mouth, and the water kept boiling in the kettle with nowhere to vent. We must guide the power of the medicine in our body, we can't go on like this. Chang Xiao calmed down a little and immediately thought of a way to start Tai Chi in the shallows. Along with the Tai Chi moves, the uncontrolled heat flow in the body began to rush along Chang Xiao's revised Tai Chi operation route, all the way towards the Ren and Du Second Meridian. Boom! The heat flow was like an irresistible giant beast, directly and violently breaking through the difficult Ren and Du Meridians, surging along the meridians, and suddenly, an indescribable feeling of pleasure spread throughout the body. Well, Chang Xiao groaned, and after a burst of crackling sounds from the joints all over his body, he once again entered the state of selflessness and formlessness after two years. He was wielding his fists selflessly, and every move was like Zhang Lingyu show. In this state, the movement route that was not perfect at first was gradually corrected without Chang Xiao's consciousness, and he continued to move towards the most perfect and most suitable Tai Chi. Root evolution. Boom. In an instant, there was a loud sound like thunder in the body, the obscure and difficult to understand Ren and Du meridians were opened, and Chang Xiao's soul power also broke through at this moment.